Congratulations, Rory, on The Conjuring 3. Thank you very much. I did it a long time ago, but thank you very much. <laughs> I have to say, though, from that very first scene, it already felt like you were a complete regular in this franchise. How did you manage to just blend in so naturally? Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure if that's true but from my point of view, but yeah, it was really scary um, coming to set, not because of the demons and that <laughs> stuff, unfortunately. It's because um, my Patrick and Vera are just so good and so rooted and people love them in these films. And so we want to come in and not ruin it for everybody. Um, but it, I was really intimidated coming in. And then the first day, the first read through, Vera came in and high-fived every single person in the room. I'm sure that's not true, it felt like it. And just a conjuring three, baby. And I knew that I was off to a good start and was probably gonna be well supported and held during the process, which I needed and I was. Amazing. Uh, this is gonna sound like an odd one, but genuinely, what kind of prep work goes into playing a possessed character? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's different for everybody who plays a possessed mm -hmm. character, but for me, I'm really scientifically minded and cynical and boring in that way. So I had to find very rigid um, internal mental structures to try and work it out. So I went more for uh, like um, like psychosis and um, mental illness kind of view of it. But then you're also just working with these incredible scary characters, which aren't even CGI. They're very practical. James Wan's done a great job of like making that world. Um, so a lot of the work is done for you, you know, when you get to respond to these incredibly scary creatures. So that's kind of the prep for it. I mean, every day before I went to set, I'd be praying that something scary would happen to me because Vera would always come up and say, oh, last weekend, something strange happened. You know, something fell from a dresser. Um, something unexplained happened and nothing happened like that to me. And I'm really jealous of that openness to that and also the fact that maybe it was happening to her. How did you find the, um, the makeup actually and the CGI and how that kind of helped your performance? I found it very difficult to tell when it was makeup, when it was CGI and when it was just your performance. Well, that's great. I'm great that it comes across like that. And also it's easier to act when it's all practical and most of it is practical. Um, I mean, the makeup team are incredible. They've done pretty much all these films and they very quickly spray you down with this white and then you've got the veins and everything and suddenly you feel like you're feeling a little bit peaky and maybe there's a demon coming on. So without their contribution, it just would look like I was pulling faces. Um, and I think they did an incredible job with it. And I'm really, really grateful that they did. You've done kind of a fair like range of work at this point, but do you find that acting in horror, like how does that compare to, you know, drama and other kind of genres of working in? Yeah, it's very, very different. It's very physical. Um, it's just physically and emotionally exhausting in a way that other acting doesn't quite tend to be. Um, it's more like doing a big workout or something. A lot of the time you have to breathe really heavily and be in this very heightened state. So I, I had an absolute blast doing this film, but it's probably my last horror for a while. Um, I don't think my brain could take it maybe, you know, and it's just, you're being totally possessed and you're writhing around and contorting and going at a hundred percent, which my acting teacher said never to go to, but you kind of have to in one of these films. I mean, the, the real advantage is that you objectively know if you're getting it wrong and acting is so subjective and often wishy-washy and you don't know if you're doing it well or not. But if you're not scared, you know you've failed. And strangely, that's really comforting. I'm going to have to leave it there, Rory. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. But um, congratulations on the movie again. And we can't wait to see what's next. Thank you. Thank you so much.